Killing me softly with soft skills. <laughs> what is soft about soft skills? This is what we're going to discuss in this episode. The purpose of this podcast is for us both to learn new things about entrepreneurship. We have recorded this not only on video form but also in audio form so that you can listen to it anywhere and anytime you like, especially during your free time. But not only that, during your found time. Found time is when you are working or you're busy on a task, especially if it's a mundane task that is very important for you to finish and we will help you finish it while you are learning at the same time. So please hit that like button and subscribe to our channels and please also share it with your friends so you can help each other spread the good news about entrepreneurship and how we could better ourselves not just for our careers but also for our personality as well. Thank you very much and let's continue to our topic. Good evening sessionistas and photogs and welcome to Photogs Life. My name is Chris Calumberan and I'm the chief photographer and founder of Chris Calumberan FZE. Please follow our social media pages. The links are down below. Wow, soft skills. This topic came from uh, www.edupristine.com and the title of the uh, blog post is Soft Skills for the Hard World. Oh dear. It was written July 3, 2019 by Edu Pristine. Go visit their website, www.edupristine.com. So let's start. Soft skills, Juan. Um, the blog mentioned that it is a blend of interpersonal savvy, communication skills, and social intelligence. What does it mean about this? Interpersonal communication skills and social intelligence most of us well most of us don't have that social filter uh, most of us become awkward when it comes to social gathering or becoming interacting with other um, colleagues that we have especially here in UAE or in our host country uh, we are very cosmopolitan and we do have a lot of mixtures of different races from different countries from different cultures we would need to know uh, most of the time the standard of being sociable or the standard of communication skills or just, and the uh, having that interpersonal skills you know it's not that uh, it's not enough that we are very good in our jobs most of the time some some people are good in their jobs but can they, they can be assholes at the same time <laughs> but learnings about soft skills you know making interpersonal communications and social intelligence we will one by one get to know what are these social skills in a bit number two they are very much in demand by employers uh, this is when they say we would require pleasing personality um, this is not just the physicality this is the pleasing personality within you know when they say pleasing personality it's not the most beautiful candidate or the most handsome candidate it is physicality and then suddenly they don't they lack that interpersonal communication skills no it's basically uh, that pleasing personality that would uh, that would tra transform or would make someone as an asset in their company or in their institution or organization this is what they mean when they say pleasing personality <laughs> okay <laughs> number three there's this uh, phd dean of Ross Rochester Institute of Technology College of Liberal Arts once said Mr. James Winebreak PhD soft skills are more challenging to master the most needed to master because it allows people to communicate innovate and be creative oh dear oh dear see when they say there's no money in art but you know try not to be creative you know, being creative, being innovative, and having that strength of communication gives you a really one-up. Not just a one-up, but an up-up-up. 
you know, maybe 30 lives. <laughs> it gives you superpowers when it comes to uh, a person knowing how to communicate, knowing how to communicate the innovation that they have created or the creativity of delivering this or presenting this. This will really gives you a plus plus in your organization or in your entrepreneurship journey and in your daily life actually you know in your daily lives in how you can um, manage to make a living out of this um, number five soft skills soft skills get a little respect but they will make or break your career says by the author peggy claus make or break your career career you know i mean as she mentioned this it's kind of like it's being disregarded in a sense that we are so focused on hard skills instead of the instead of the soft skills why is that why is that so uh, now i mentioned the keyword hard skills there's hard skills and there's soft skills what are the difference between them I will let you know right now <laughs> hard skills skills that can be taught they can be quantified it's quantifiable it's measurable it can be taught in school you know like what like problem solving like project management planning budgeting scheduling risk management time management these things can be taught in school and can be learned and can be quantified not only that it also programming um photography um uh, what do you call this a uh, drawing oh not drawing but uh measurement accounting you know all these things it can be learned this is what i always tell my students i will not teach you photography you already know that what i'm going to teach you is how is the how is the soft skills now these are this is the meaning of soft skills soft skills also known as people skills or interpersonal skills that is communication leadership conflict resolution negotiation empathy and adaptability guys you know in the end I also just realized this soft skills and hard skills because I always hear this from a friend of mine who I just worked with very recently because I have soft skills, you know. So in conclusion, we know already that soft skills is a very important skill to master. Um, as Filipinos, we are very natural when it comes to soft skills because we know how to uh, negotiate, we know how to empathize, we know how to listen very carefully, we are very adaptable, we can, we can resolve conflicts easily, you know, we are born leaders and good in communication. And most of the time we disregard this because we have no idea what is the definition of soft skills. So that's why I am giving it to you guys right now. If we are aware of the things that we can do, if we are aware of the things that we are capable of, the more chances that we will be able to use these things for our betterment. You know, yes, indeed we are natural, but we have no idea of the technicality that comes with it. Or we don't have no idea there's there's an ex there's experiences but we have no uh, structure that the structure and the technique and the organization of this knowledge if we do have that then we can use this 
um, purposely in our lives, in our daily lives, in our career, in our negotiations, and in our entrepreneurship journey. So there you have it. My name is Chris Calumbiran and I am the Chief Photographer of Chris Calumbiran FZE. Again, please follow our uh, social medias. We put our links down below and please hit the like button and subscribe. Sharing is caring. Thank you very much and good night. Cheers.